Let's hit it, Dyke Blogger. Hit it. Yellow light. Hey guys, Bike Blogger here. Testing out the new uh, mirror on my way to work. Commuting to work. Sort of a dark, rainy, wet day today. Let's see. Still gotta get it adjusted a little. It's pretty nice, actually. I'm not sure uh, how much I really use it. I never really, I'm not used to using a mirror on my bike. Whew. 82 miles an hour. Let's make it right. Oh. Waking up. It's a little cooler today than it was yesterday. Yesterday is really hot. Whew. It's still very humid. Okay. I haven't done one of these commuting videos for a while. What's going on up here? Stop. So, how are we going to get past this? Let's wait for the car. We'll just sort of inch our way up here. Alright, there we go. Woo! Work, work, work. Got to get to work. 24 miles, 25 miles an hour. Single speed is all I need. It's this guy up too. Backing up into his driveway. Don't want to miss the light. Just hit it, bike blogger. Hit it. Yellow light. More work. Woo! Work, work, work. People out and about doing work, even though it's all wet outside. I don't know how you can really put down concrete and stuff when it's all wet. <sighs> That's awesome. I like never sail through that intersection back there. Men working. <laughs> With everything PC, I am surprised. I am surprised that uh, they don't call it people working or whatever. I'm surprised they still have all those signs. You know, because women, there are women construction workers too. Ah, it's too early for politics. Okay. Across the bridge. Yeah, it's all wet on the ground. And I gotta be careful so I don't fall. Smash my face on the bench. A little bit of slippage there. A little bit of slippage right now. I think I got a little mud on my tires. These tires are rather old, but got uh, got well over 3,000 miles on them, but it's still really good, I think, and uh, still got enough tread, I think. Just got to be a little careful when it's wet outside, that's all. Yeah, but this video is about a mirror, and I am using the mirror here while I'm looking at it now. Yeah, it's really nice. I actually like this mirror, the Sprint Tech. I don't know. If you see down there, there it is. Sprint Tech mirror, racing mirror. Seems like it would be very good for when you're racing. 
It's a little small though. Uh, but it's small enough that I haven't even really noticed it or, or even really used it yet. But I mean, you know, I'm not really riding on the road much. Let's get back on the road. I was worried I was gonna, oh boy, duck. I was worried I was gonna bump it with my knee, but no such problems. It's way out of my range of bumping it. Since my bike is actually sized appropriately for me. 19 miles an hour. Woo, on our way to work. Yeah, so I can see behind me. No cars behind me. Instead of a weird day, it's getting a little sunlight now. Let's go straight here and see if we can cut through. A bunch of cars parked all right. Up against the area I like to cut through sometimes. Oh yeah, I don't see any chains. I think we're good. Zoop. No problemo. Okay, let's take a left. Might have to stop here. Just trying to be careful, I don't want to crash on that gravel. I don't think that light's gonna go green for me. Good mirror, I see I see no one's behind me still. Let's make a right. I got it uh, situated right now such that I see the my left leg in the mirror a little bit, so that's sort of obscuring the view a little. But at least I know it's angled properly. It hasn't been bouncing around or anything. I mean, I don't have to keep readjusting it, so that's nice. Obviously, uh, if you're going to be changing riding positions, like if I go down on the drops, yeah, it's still just about as good. Yeah, not bad. Nice mirror, nice mirror. I think we'll give this mirror a thumbs up. Squeak, thumbs up. Okay. There's a turn. I did bump the mirror a little bit there. I just felt it on my leg. Let's get up in here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Needing to work my bike. Let's go under here. Yeah, one time I, uh, gosh, it was just probably a couple weeks ago, there was like a construction crew on the street, and I was sort of trying to ride past them somewhat carefully. <laughs> and uh, the guy all of a sudden picked up like this big, uh, not a two by four, it was something, a big metal rod. Um, and, uh, it was like too late for me to really stop without, I don't know, crashing or whatever. So I got down into the, you know, arrow position or whatever. You know, I really leaned over and uh, I was able to get underneath it. I was able to duck underneath it. 19 miles an hour. We're going to make a right right here. So yeah, that was a little scary, but felt really good to pass underneath it because, you know, it was like the bar is coming up right to my eyes. So I ducked down real low and I was able to get underneath it because, you know, if I hadn't been able to, that could have been really bad, you know, get a train, 
getting smacked in the face with a, uh, you know, with a pole while riding on a bike. Pretty bad. Ugh. 18 miles an hour, blind spot, careful. Feel good. Let's climb up here to the left. Get back out in the road here. go Woo. on a way yeah so back to the mirror 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 whatever yeah looking good I can I can really see uh, like a left slow down even though there's like no traffic up here I can really see behind me Try to adjust it a little more, get a little bit better view. Yeah, this thing's nice. Thumbs up for the mirror. The mirror, the mirror. Excellent mirror. Sprint Tech Racing mirror. I recommend it if you're looking for a mirror. There's a pedestrian to my right, so I'm gonna crash into the curb real quick here. Hang on. Okay, let's go this way. So, if I'm stopped, and I turn the handlebars this way, it's no problem, obviously. If I turn it this way, yeah, my, my leg does bump the mirror a little. But, you know, if you start off like you're supposed to and not with a wheel turned, uh, it's no problem. And I have plenty of clearance when I'm riding the bike. I'm actually up on my saddle. Off-road. See how this mirror handle's going a little off-road here. Bumping around, see if it we can knock it out of adjustment a little. It's not a horrible, horrible road, but it is pretty horrible. <laughs> okay. A little bit of a gravel road here. Right, let's wait for the sedan. Going to the left. Out onto the pavement here. Into the, into the road. Nice mirror. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might keep it on my bike. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't. I'm not really used to using mirrors, so I mean, I haven't really been using it that much on my ride. But I'm trying to look behind me occasionally, uh, using the mirror. Generally, where I ride my bike, though, there's not a lot of traffic like this, you know. So. Mirror isn't absolutely necessary, but it's always a helpful tool. So yeah, liking the mirror. And I uh, think I would recommend it. If, if you're looking for a mirror, this is a good mirror. Of course, it only works with road style handlebars. But uh, there are other types of mirrors you can get for flat handlebars or whatever. Just stick in the side. Even, you know, bigger mirrors than this one. This one sells itself as like a somewhat aerodynamic mirror though. I guess it sort of is. It still hangs down a little though, so it's just gonna, still has a frontal surface area. It doesn't hide completely behind the the road bars, although it does a pretty good job. Yeah. Wow, I mean, this is a really, this is, let me just say, 
uh, my expectations were low for this mirror, honestly, because I don't like putting extra stuff on my bike if I really don't think it serves a whole lot of value. And uh, I think this is a good mirror. Now, of course, I can't really see what's going on in the mirror when I'm uh, standing and pedaling, you know, uh, mashing up the hills on the handlebars here. See, I see no one behind me. I'm still gonna look behind me though, Let's make a left. Because honestly, even in a car, with all the mirrors you got, you still have a blind spot. And uh, on a bike, you have no blind spots, so all it takes is a quick look behind the shoulder or under the armpit to see what's going on behind you, directly behind you, immediately behind you. And uh, I just don't really trust mirrors anyway, so I guess that's sort of a, what's this guy up to? Is he backing up too, it looks like. All these people, they like to back up into the driveways. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice quick check sort of thing, you know, having a mirror here. Will I keep it on my bike? I don't know. Like I said, it'd be really good for a race situation if you're trying to be a, I don't know. You know, if you're a competitive person, you don't want people passing you. Okay, let's make a, a left, almost to work. Getting a little sweaty. Squeak! Squeak! Sneaking behind the truck. There goes an a-hole driving his fancy Kia didn't give me any room there I wasn't even using the mirror though <laughs> that's where uh, time would have been useful with the mirror anyway it's all good I'm happy almost to work now see you next time gonna get too close behind this guy's bumper but he's gonna take off real quick I'm not riding in the gutter got 24 miles an hour 25 I'm on a hill now so speeding up a little 27 